While we sat around the campfire, we contemplated what needed to be done for the day. We must fight the frog frog. And while we were confident in our strength, we had to decide how to get there. So I thought and thought. We must gather the materials to get better armor and weapons. We must gather the materials to summon the boss and then we must defeat it. So that's what we did. I built some farms and a granary and set our farmer to work on cotton production. I went to the nearest copper mine and cleared its inhabitants and skinned them for resources we will surely need and grinded as much ore as I could. I dropped it off back at the village for the smelters to get to work on the ingots and I put any and all tribesmen to this task, no matter if they were proficient or not. I then took the long journey to the tin ore mine and did much the same. On the way we were attacked by all manner of creatures, from giant slithering anacondas to roaring jaguars, but nothing could stop us from our task. Sweating and breathing hard from all the ore that I am collecting, but it is for the betterment of the tribe. I headed back home with a stop to admire the beauty of this land. When I got back I set the tribe onto the next task of smelting the tin ore into ingots and watched as they worked hard to become the power that we need to conquer this land. Once that was complete, we began the hard task of smelting both tin and copper ingots into bronze ingots. I checked on the farm to see its progress. It was coming along nicely. There were still a few things we needed, leather and shells. I operated the tanning rack myself for the leather we needed and luckily we had the turtles everywhere around our village. So I hunted as many as I could and we finally had enough to create the armor and weapons we needed. Once I got back to the village, I set the armor crafter to start crafting bronze chainmail and the weaver to making coarse cotton to start the production of our armor. During this time, we were invaded by barbarians. I missed the intelligence phase as the spy was too good at his job, but the invasion started. They were attacking our old home. I climbed up the cliffside and I decided to defend against it just to show any future attackers what we were made of. But nobody showed up. Weak. I scaled my way back down the cliff and back to the village. We finally had everything we needed to start crafting our armor and weapons. Bronze chainmail, thick leather coarse cotton, sharp fangs, calite, silver ingots, shells and claws. It's time to craft the armor and weapons. We set our crafter to do his duty and craft. In the meantime, we made sure we had everything we needed to fight the legendary fog frog. Aloe essence, plant essence, antidotes, blood activating cream and bandages. We grabbed our poison proof mobs and waited for our armor and weapons to be forged. It was finally time and it was finally completed. I picked up all the armor and added the poison proof mods and the bleeding mods to weapons and handpicked the fighters to go on the daring but necessary task. We geared up and headed out. We made our way across jungles, rivers, marshes, gathering intel along the way. Any information on whereabouts of the fog frog was needed. We fought monstrous anacondas, giant alligators unlocked portals as we traveled for easier movement, gaining more and more knowledge of the areas. As we got deeper, we started to find more and more creatures we had never seen before. Wolves on the hunt, giant alpacas called llamas, I believe, grazing the fields, all new food, all new materials. Marshes turned to endless grasslands, finding another portal to this land, finding more and more scouts trying to find the location of the legendary frog's domain. We found old scriptures and ancient ruins that unlocked more technologies for us. After days of traveling, we thought it was all for nothing. But then, we saw it. The ancient pyramid in the distance. We were finally here. Now to see what was in store for us. We ran into some little spitting frogs that caused a lot of damage. Luckily the rumors were true and our medicines and mods were able to help us withstand it. We cleared the little frogs as they posed a big danger to us. And we began to summon the Fog Frog boss.
The fight was hard. We lost good men. What could I have done better? What could I have done to be stronger? But nevertheless, we have become stronger. I can feel it in the mask. I unlocked the portal, sad but successful, and headed back to the village. Once back to the village, we mourn the losses of our fallen tribesmen. But the journey is just beginning. I wanted to try a little something different this time. I wanted to see what this would come across like in the complete Soul Mask series. If this is something that is more enjoyable, easier to digest, please let me know down in the comments. I really actually enjoyed getting the script together for this and then recording all of the pieces and getting it all together and editing it. It was a lot of fun for me to do. So I really hope you liked it. And if you did like it, make sure to like and subscribe. Judging on the comments of this video, we'll see if I change up the complete Soul Mask series or go back to the original setting that it was because I know a lot of you enjoyed the long but more longer form content. But I want to Thank you all for watching, fly safe, and avoid local chat scams. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up, it's time to look at